Hey guys, Kilko here, and welcome to my first Minecraft Maya tutorial, should I say. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import a Minecraft world into Maya and to correct the glass and make it transparent. So the first thing you're going to want to do is not Minecraft, but you're going to want to open up internet or whatever browser you use and go to jmc2obj.net first thing you're going to see when you go to the website um, there's going to be a download really easy to see on the top near the middle and you're going to go ahead and download the newest version Alright, so now that that has downloaded, you're going to want to make a folder on on your desktop called JMC2OBJ. I already have one, so I'm going to make another one for the sake of this tutorial. So, JMC2OBJ. JMC2OBJ. I'm going to put a dash at the end. I already have a folder. So, now that you have downloaded this, you're going to want to um, left mouse click show in folder, and then, then you're going to want to cut, then open your folder you just created, paste, delete um, this extra. Now, when you run JMC to OBJ, it should create some more files in the folder. Like the config file, and um, there is. Alright, now, now that we have that set up, not. Like I don't want to, I don't want this tutorial to be confusing or anything. So so far we have downloaded JMC to OBJ, put that in a folder called JMC to OBJ. Now, um, what you want to what you want to do is um, build something. You know, build something. A good example. I'm just gonna put like I want to put a a nice wood wall and here I'm gonna put some glass because we will be needing to see how that turns out so once you put that and also another good example is um, sugar cane I'm getting dirt just in case Okay, sugar cane. Oh well, usually it works. How about I'll put a door? That's good. All right, and a torch too. Door and a torch. Um, I would advise you to do exactly like this, like I'm doing, just, just to, to see if you can get the hang of it before. And place a torch here, why not? Now that we're done, this is, this is just basically it for, um, just so that you know. Now, save and everything like that. Uh, you can go ahead and exit, too. Now, now you still have um, JMC to OBJ opened, so it automatically locates your your Minecraft. And uh, my world was named. I named it Maya Tutorial. You're gonna want to click on whatever you named your world. Click load. Now, right click to move. So as you can see. This is 
what we just built, you're going to want to go ahead and take this red box um, and uh, stretch it over like that. And then, yeah, like that. Now you're pretty much done for this part. Now you want to click on export. Um, show export options. Make sure the offset is set to center and map scale 1.0. And render world sides and bottom. Render biomes, render entities. Create a separate object for each material. That's very important. And overwrite OBJ. Ask, overwrite MTL, ask. Always. Make sure your settings are exactly these. Now, hide options, show texture options. Now what you want to do is, if you're not planning on using a texture pack, you want to go ahead and export textures from Minecraft. That'll go ahead and load and do its thing, and then you're pretty much done. You can do export, export selection, yes, It'll do the thing. It's done. Now you can go ahead and close JMC to OBJ and check your folder. It should be there. But who knows? Alright, but it looks like, um, well, I actually planned for, um, the OBJ file to, to go into this, to go into the JMC2 OBJ dash folder on my desktop. But it's the same thing, it went in my original folder. But in your case, it should, well, not no one else has two jmc2 obj folders so it'll be in the folder don't worry about that it should be in the folder now you're going to want to take your minecraft.obj file take it drag it and drop it into maya now you're going to see this um you're going to see a sort of outline press 5 on your keyboard then you want to press right here. You see this little ball, a textured checker ball right there. Make sure that's checked. Now you'll see you'll see the, the textures. And you'll see that it it um it rendered out the, the side too and everything. So you'll see that the textures are a bit blurry and the glass didn't come out properly. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Leave your Maya open and everything. You want to go into your JMC to OBJ folder. Go inside conf, conf, contrib, and I think it's here. Yeah, it's in the Maya README. And in this README, there's going to be a script. And you're going to copy paste everything from main window to the bottom of the notepad copy and close that. Go back into Maya and now you want to do you want to what I think it's yeah yeah you want to click on the complete bottom right there's a little box it says script editor and um, I already have it right over here I'm gonna go ahead and delete it but it's gonna look like this for you Your, this box at the bottom is gonna be empty now you're gonna control V and here's the script so and after this you wanna go in to the top left of the screen file save script to shelf um, and go ahead and name it um, fix 
pixel blur. You can go ahead, you can name it anything you want. It the name doesn't matter, but so that you remember what it is later, you should name it. I, I, I'd name it fix pixel blur. All right, now you can see right here that the fix pixel blur thing is. It's on your your shelf. Now to fix the textures, you're gonna wanna. Um, first turn on um, go on to renderer viewport 2.0 for the highest quality and you'll notice it after after the after we do the after we um we fix the the pixelization now like you you'll 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 notice like it's all blurry right now and there's a black like there's a black box around the torch and the glass isn't well this um script won't fix the glass but it will in fact fix the black it'll add transparency and make it smoother so enough talk and we're going to start doing this already you're going to go want to go into well you want to make sure you're in animation um then you want to go into window rendering editors hypershade Alright, now you're going to want to hold, um, actually you know what, just uh, drag, make sure you're on the cursor tool, drag the, all these, over all these materials, everything that looks like a sphere covered in its texture, um, and yeah, select everything. Now hold shift and keep holding shift as you do this. Unselect particle and shader GL. I think that's good. Now minimize. That's still open. Keep in mind. Once you click on the, the script, you'll see these two buttons. For the first time, you want to do batch remove pixel filter now you, you might see a red thing at the bottom bar it doesn't mean anything it worked now you can see how much clearer the textures are alright but now you want to fix the whole like you want to fix this torch and the door now you're gonna go back to your um, back to your hypershade make sure it's still open and now you want to select everything that you see that has a problem the torch and again make sure you're on the cursor tool or else it won't work going back to hypershade um, try to try to follow because try to follow with me you know because it might be a little bit confusing shift click still holding shift click again and uh, the door, just click on both of them and then minimize that, it's still open and now you want to go back on your fix pixel script batch apply transparency now that we have applied the transparency well actually If you see that the bottom part of the door is transparent, then it's because you selected too much. That's what I just did. So there's the torch, that, that, wood, door, wood, top. Yeah, the top is definitely the problem. So for for um, if you did exactly like I did, you'd have three things that need to be fixed. <laughs> yeah, batch apply transparency. And uh, there you go. Your door is fixed and the torch is fixed now the very last thing um, that we want to fix is the glass as you can see it's just a white texture it is nothing currently so you you still have hypershade open now you want to click on textures right got your glass right here Go back to um, your cursor. You got your glass. 
and right here it selects the glass and um, alright this is pretty important you wanna go to minecraftwiki.net and search for glass pane jmc2obj.net anymore. You wanna click on this small little picture right here. Save image as grid underscore glass paint. That's good. Um, leave it in your downloads or on your desktop if you feel that um, it's easier. Yeah, I'll leave it in my downloads. Save. Alright. Now we have that glass picture. You want to go where you see color. You want to go to the checkered box right there. File. And click on this folder, which allows you to choose your own documents. Um, well, user. Yeah, your, 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 your name. Mine is user. A bit. Yeah. Then you're gonna get your downloads. And I'm lagging a bit. Alright. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the glass texture we have. Just select it, and your glass should look like this. But as you can see, it's still blurry, so th the last thing that is left to do, go back into Hypershade. If you still haven't closed it, select the cursor tool. Yeah, just select that. Fix pixel, patch, apply. Batch remove pixel filter. It should work. Or if that doesn't work, you can, as you, you can see here. Here it says glass two, and here it says file one. Um, it's on quadratic by default. Just turn it off, and it'll be nice like this. So anyways guys, I believe that is all I wanted to cover for this tutorial. Um, I plan on making, on this being a full tutorial of making an animation from start to finish. So um, this covers the, the scene, basically. So importing the world into Maya. Um, I. I guess I guess this is all for this video. That's all I wanted to show. Um, the next video will be rigging as soon as I um, can put a video together on that. So subscribe for more tutorials and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. There will be more tutorials to come. My name is Kilko and I'm out. Peace guys. You're not going to be able to do it.